Good morning, everybody. I am a real live person. I'm not always a robot. I know, as you can see here, this is my office. And uh, as you can see, the Longhorns in the background and uh, Hook'em Horns. There we go. I see you, Joe. So um, welcome to today's training. I'm excited, excited, excited to bring some new news to uh, to our to the territory. And as I've always promised, we've We've got some new leads that are coming out, some new lead opportunities that I'm excited about. So welcome to today's training. Today is August 11th, 2022. And I know everybody's going to get tired of staring at my old, ugly, getting older face. So I'm going to turn mine off here real quick. And so that uh, I can talk and I don't have to see myself talking. It's hard to talk to yourself. You know, when you see yourself talking, it's hard to focus because you, you want to do this or this or like, oh, my God, a hair or a wrinkle or so it's kind of hard. So that's just my one track mind. But welcome today, August 11th, and I'm excited today. So we have some good news, uh, hopefully for everybody that have, we've been working on for a while. Uh, I know this business is all about um, leads and seeing people and talking to people and selling policies, of course, taking care of families. It's uh, always been a struggle throughout any industry to get good leads or any leads and um, or people to go see. It's hard to start a plan when you don't have a, a basis of where to go, who to see and what to do. So I hope you gather today, uh, maybe your own system, uh, your own thought processes about this. Uh, we have partnered up with a company and we are working on trying to get you, um, the agent, the best opportunity to see people. Um, is it the perfect one? Is the end all say all? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, well, that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today is that uh, it kind of depends on how much you put into it. As you well know, a lead is basically a, a name of a person, some information about the person, an address about the person. Um, and we obviously, as you well know, uh, are somewhat of a victim to what people put into the system. So for example, as you can imagine, if you're looking for a new car or you're looking for gutters for your house or you're looking for someone to roofing or anything you put as far as uh, your information in somewhere, uh, that information is only as good as what you put in there. So uh, just keep that in mind. And as we move forward, I just wanna kind of go through you know, what we've done in the past uh, what we've tried to do in the past and where we are in the past. And so I'm going to skip right over here. And for those of y'all, I believe everybody on the line here is uh, is somewhat tenured. <clears throat> most of y'all know me. Uh, so that's just nothing new. And most of you know, excuse me, I was eating pistachio. But uh, y'all have seen my training website, finalexpenselife.us. Um, and so y'all have seen also most of these sections as to how to write policies, the tools, um, and, uh, but I want to jump into today. I don't want to waste any time. I just want to jump into leads and, you know, we've, we've been down the path of telemarketed leads, which a telemarketed lead, I took him off of here. Uh, I just don't know that they're the best in the world. It's where you have a call center and the, the call center is calling people and then they are giving you the information and you take that information and call the people back and, I'm not a big fan of, of telemarketing right now, and, and I hate to say this, but it's just because most of the call centers are, are overseas these days. Um, it costs a lot less to produce those call centers overseas, and sometimes the, the people running those call centers will give you leads that are pretty well bogus to where the person said, don't call me, and you're trying to call them back. So I've always been kind of uh, frustrated at those leads, so as a manager... I've, I've taken those down. Uh, we still do have a telemarketed vendor uh, that we can use and you can use lead credit on. So if telemarketing is your thing, uh, I'm pretty sure our lead orders are low on that. Then let me know. We do have direct mail still. Uh, you can still order direct mail drops. They do work. Uh, they do work uh, well when you get them. Um, and again, let me let me do a little housekeeping real quick. For those of y'all that do know or don't know, if you have any questions, because we have a really good large group today. Uh, type them in the box. I'm going to put hello over here. Type them in your chat box. So that'll work out good. That way I can field those questions as we go and uh, we can we can uh, answer those. Um, but back what I was talking about, 
is a lot of the lead vendors now, I'm just going to be real square because that's the only way I know how to be with y'all. And I'm just a small town boy from Texas here. And I, you know, I, I, I want to always be fair and honest with you. And that is my job uh, is to be your liaison, to tell you the truth. And if I don't have something for you, I don't. Uh, but when I do, or if I do, I want to let you know what the opportunity is. Um, so <clears throat> direct mail is great. It works great. In the state of Texas and all over most of the United States, we can't get a price per lead anymore. Um, and so, you know, here, $32 per lead, I'm going to have to redo that today. Most of the time we're having to do mail drops and you can easily go into, for example, if we go to lead concepts uh, right here, you can get leads, uh, final expense burial leads and fill this out. But most of the time what you're going to find is, is that um, you're going to get lead drops. So they're going to be dropping a thousand leads for you. And what you get back is whatever comes back. So if you drop a thousand leads out there, uh, hold on, I didn't share, I haven't shared my screen. So maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I'm gonna look at sharing my screen, entire screen share. Okay, I'm gonna go back here. So uh, let me back up here. I don't see your screen. Perfect, I was talking to myself. It's awesome. So um, let me rewind just a little bit. It won't take me two seconds. This is my training page. <laughs> can y'all see me now? Those of y'all that can chat, can you see me now? Technical difficulty. Tell me if you see me now. Can you see my screen now? Type yes, Juan, if you can see me now. See my screen. All right, Ruby, thank you. Good to see you, Ruby and uh, Ray. Um, right here, training website. Back over here, you talk about leads. Again, we talked about uh, the uh, telemarket leads. Now we're on direct mail. We still are partnered with these vendors, and but most of the time, what you're going to find now is $500 uh, for a drop, and you get about six or seven mailers back. So $500 for six or seven, even though no matter how good they are, and you can always use lead credit. Remember, you can always use lead credit. So if you have a question about your lead credit, uh, let me know, but it's free money. It's free tax-free money. Let me unmute myself for a second and because and, I, I really believe in this. So lead credit, when you earn lead credit and you see it in your lead credit bucket, that is money. Uh oh, do you see my screen? Eduardo said no screen. Can you see my screen now? Can you see it? Shake your head. Yes or no, Joe. All right, cool. Um, lead credit is free money that's tax free to use. So what I mean by that is that when you when it's sitting there in your bucket that you earned uh, to go use, that's free tax-free money to invest back into your business. So if you've got $500, $600 in your lead credit and you see that, you wonder, what is this? That is money that when you go buy leads, and I'll show you in a second how that works, when you go buy leads, you can use that lead credit to pay for half of the cost of your leads. So that's bringing these lead costs down in half. It's tax-free. You're never taxed on it. And then the other portion of that money that you pay for your leads is tax deductible. So you have tax free money and tax deductible money filtering into your business to help you make money. OK, so those are the two valves. And that's why I always want to try to help you, um, you know, get some leads. But we also have to have the right type of lead to give you. OK, we're not like other companies out there that. Uh, bring you in other IMOs, feed you B leads or C leads um, that have been used already and say, go get them, Tiger. Go out there and door knock these people again because they've already been door knocked 24 times. We believe in fresh new leads. Now we are going to be coming out with a lead store uh, and hopefully we can open that up to the independent agents as we move closer and closer into uh, the, the lead business. All of you have also seen Lead Hub. This is where everything's going right now. This is where you see your leads. This is where you work your leads. This is where you're able to disposition your leads and put things in there. So we're excited about that and drilling it down. But back to the, the, you know, the lead types and as you invest in your business, if you have money in there, you know, let's get together and let's find in your territory what's going to be the best. I've always kind of balked on advising you to 
you know, to order leads a lot because I haven't felt comfortable with a lead source until now. Uh, and until proven wrong, hey, this I may, mean, I may have egg all over my face on this one too. But what I do know is that I've worked them before already. I've gotten responses from them already, good, bad, or indifferent. Uh, I have not yet door knocked them, which I'm going to advise doing yet. Uh, but what I do like is, is that I can use several different ways to try to communicate and try to contact these leads. Now, is there a better way than the other? Maybe so. But what I do know is I see 17 people on the line here and every single one of you are men or women, different nationalities, uh, different ages, uh, all over the board. And we all communicate with people differently and we all have our own separate pitch. We all have our own communities. We all have our own neighborhoods. We all have our own demographics. Some of y'all neighborhood I'd get killed in and I'd get knocked, you know, I'd get run out of. And I would be, uh, who's that tall white guy running around in here in a black Dodge? It looks like Yellowstone's here or something like that. You know, Kevin Costner or something or Blake Shelton. I don't know. I mean, but uh, so we, that's okay. Uh, you know, and I have my spots where I shine too. So we have to be chameleons and I hope this gives you an opportunity, you know, and uh, to, to use your abilities um, to get to some people. And that's really all it is. I, I just have to say a lead. I want everybody to know it, a lead is not someone that just knocked and said, Hey, Joe, call me tomorrow. Tony, call me tomorrow. Terry, call me tomorrow. Juan, call me tomorrow because I want $30,000 worth of final expense life insurance. And I'm willing to pay up to $150 per month for that. Call me and all you have to do is process it. <laughs> Don't we wish we could have those leads? Uh, I mean, we would all wish we had to have those leads because uh, we'd all be rich. Um, but uh, that's not what's happening here. They have expressed somewhat of an opinion somehow, some way. Um, and we just have to be able to be strong enough to contact them and go, hey, I'm the benefits coordinator. Don't hang up yet. Don't run yet. Don't, you know, don't curse me out yet. I just want to talk to you about one thing. I would like to be there here to serve you and to help you. So I think we're on the brink of having an opportunity here. Um, and I've been pushing the company for this for a long time. So I feel like we have an opportunity here for financially each one of you being able to grab some leads, grab some opportunity, uh, create some activity. And also, let's not forget while we're creating that activity, it's also sharpening our skills because working leads, talking to people, uh, getting your phone pitched down or your door knocking pitched down or learning how to wear an SNL shirt out in the public to where you can promote yourself correctly, maybe getting a lanyard here, uh, you know, for yourself. And, uh, you know, and and I'll tell you what, if you're a producer, you know, and you're going to pr produce, let me know. Uh, I'm starting to create these lanyards in the office here. So I'll get you one if you're going to be out there working. Because it's very important, I mean, that you have that, that branding. So when you knock on that door, you go see those people, they know who you are. So I just want to kind of set the stage there for what we're going to talk about. You're going to probably agree with some of these approaches. Maybe you disagree with some of these approaches. Maybe you don't want to do some of these approaches. But I will know, I will tell you something. What I've found is that we have to be, we have to go in and we have to learn to beat the lead. And I created this, I created this uh, visual because I'm very big on visuals. And I know in today's time with the COVID, uh, with the different forms of technology out there, with the different forms of communication, we got baby boomers that started now in the internet kind of a little bit. So they're used to emails. Maybe they're not used to texting. We got the, the Generation X like me, you know, in our 40s and, and uh, some 30s that are used to texting some. We still like to talk on the phone. We were, we're the ones that pulled the long cord around in the house or the cordless phone. Uh, and then you've got your, you know, your youngsters that uh, all they want to do is text and email, you know, and look at Instagram or Snapchat or something like that. And uh, it doesn't mean there's a right or wrong way. It just means 
you're probably going to have to, and we're probably going to have to, if you want to be successful in this business, you have to change your mindset as to going, no, I only door knock. I just only door knock. That's all I do. I just door knock. Because our most successful agent right now, Jonathan Heinemann, he does that. All he does is door knock. He takes these things and door knocks. And most of our successful agents that are working these leads right now, door knock. But you may be the type that says, you know, I just don't, I just don't want to door knock. Well, then you've got to get really sharp on the phone, listen, and setting appointments. Well, I don't really want to set appointments and over the phone. I'd rather just sell over the phone. Well, maybe you need live transfers. Maybe this isn't the game for you. But if you're real good on the phone and you can close them over the phone, hey, save some gas. I don't know. So I just want to kind of give you, you know, everybody a little, a little um, opportunity and you're going to learn whether you can create that or turn it into something or not. And this is, each one of y'all are wonderful people and you have talents out of this world. Uh, I don't want to create robots. I'm not the guy that does. I want to be your friend, your companion, and I want to help you and I want to create use. And that's not a use, U-S-E, it's a you people. I want to create special Georges, Adrians, Arcelis, Eduardos, Jameses. I want y'all, uh, I want to be able to support the way you want to do business. And I know every one of y'all are passionate about this. So without me getting to get, I got off my soapbox, got off my tangent. So uh, without that, without a veil, uh, I won't be long today, but I want to show you the new opportunity that just started. And we're going to be dialing into this thing a lot more coming forward. But I think this is right now in our time, uh, 2022, I think this is, uh, let me keep that going. I think this is probably our best um, total opportunity right now to keep costs, uh, you know, at a at moderate cost to low cost, but also uh, get a hold of people and sell some policies. You know, what I love about this is, is that once you start having lead credit and you do have lead credit, and even without that, you know, we get these leads down to $5.50 a piece for these leads. Uh, it's now up to you to take 40 of these things and spend $220 and you got one sale and you're way above the ball game uh, with 40 leads. Um, and you're going to be able to take these things and use them again and again and again and again. OK, so so bear with me for about another 20 minutes. I want to show you a new opportunity that I think you uh, will. Um, is it going to be perfect? Are there going to be some hiccups? Is our vendor maybe slow sometimes or not? Are you going to get some bad numbers? Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, that's just part of technology and part of us. Uh, trying to feed you food in the in the field but uh i think we're excited so i'm gonna turn my fan on here i got a little heated a little worked up but here we go <laughs> so uh, um so consistent leads um digital leads that's where we're gonna go today we're gonna talk about digital leads i want you to watch a little testimony uh, that i put in here and there's several other testimonies but watch this testimony uh, and I think it's going to uh, show you what we're talking hey, about. My name is Chad. I'm a final expense agent in the Carolinas. You can probably tell from my accent, go Tigers. Uh, but I want to give my review of the consistent leads. Um, I was kind of in a slump a couple of weeks ago. So I usually run direct mail, Facebook, you know, the standard leads. And uh, I said, well, I'm going to give them a shot. So I did. I ordered 40 leads and uh, wrote about 17 and a half K in roughly two weeks. I had another agent on my team. He was kind of in a slump too. I gave him some of my leads out of that 40 and he wrote about eight. So that's uh, 40 leads at 25 K. That's a pretty good return on my investment. So I would recommend them. The people knew uh, why I was coming. They knew why I was contacting them and that's a big plus. So, hey, buy you some and try them out. Pray over them, because I did, and uh, that never hurts as well. God bless. So, wow. I mean, a, a testimony from that, and there's multiple testimonies on for, on the consistent leads, and these guys are just getting out there, and girls too, in the field, and and taking this lead, taking this opportunity, and and going and visiting people. And going and saying, yeah, are there people that go, I didn't ask you to come to my house. You, what are you doing at my house? Where are you out here? And we can work around that, you know, and there's scripts and things to work around that. 
Um, and as a person that, to serve the community and serve your people, um, we're just trying to be, get out there and get you the information. We're trying to get out there and get you the information. So let me jump right quick into what does that uh, lead look like when it comes to us. When the digital lead comes into your agent portal, which is over here, this is a digital lead. As you can see over in the left, digital, new, working, completed. It looks like this. And when you hit this view PDF, you get this. Now, what I like compared to all the rest of the leads is that the information you get here, you have so much information to be able to talk to the people when you go to their door or if you call them on the phone or if you text them. I mean, look at the information. I have, I have marked this out for privacy, obviously. So we've got Mr. Miss Jones, the street address, the town, the zip code, the date of birth, the phone number, the email address, the date it was assigned and what time, the age, the height, the weight, and everything else there. I know there's a few people on the line here that ordered some of these. And uh, Joe, I think you probably got the email about the coupon that we had. We were missing a, a, a date, of, we were missing a height, weight, gender, and an, and an email address. So Security National Life realized that and they gave, you know, the people that ordered is a free coupon code. The next time all you gotta do is enter that coupon code and you get your next batch of, next batch of 40 free. And so, uh, you know, we were always doing that and always trying to help out. But these leads, I've never seen a lead. And even if, even if one or two things are wrong on this, even if it's a bad email address, I think you still have a good name and a good address. Even if the address is wrong, I think you have a good name and a date of birth and a phone number. Even if everything is wrong on the lead, which is very rare because what the people are doing, these are search engine optimization leads. These are Google leads. So the, the internet world, when you go online and you type in a search word like burial or, or casket or death, or life insurance, or some of these keywords um, in your computer, there are ads that come up. There are ads that come up that, you know, and this company puts ads out there that look a little bit like this, and you can see them. Ad copy one, affordable berry insurance. As a resident of Texas, you may not qualify for an affordable final expense policy that will protect your family at the end of your passing. These final expense plans can be used to leave a final gift to your children or grandchildren. Click yes to receive a free quote. And then that takes them to another landing page where they put this information in themselves. And I talked to the owner of Consistent Leads yesterday and he clearly said, yes, absolutely. They are going to the landing page and they are putting this information into the landing page and they did it and this is the information you're getting. Add to 2022 Texas resident update. You may now apply for an affordable final expense plan to cover end of year, yes or no. Add three, act now, final expense benefits available to you, cover your rising cost of burial condition. Don't wait until it's too late. Don't wait until it's too late, okay? So these are, these are based on the company uh, uh, you know, is protocol is what these people are clicking on. And this is the information you get. Now, what are you going to use on this information page? What are you going to use first? Where are, where are you going to use this and how are you going to use it? So when we talk about that, this is where you develop your game plan. This is where you develop, uh, what, what you're good at. This is where you develop but what I will say as we go through this and what I will say from the very beginning, beat that lead up, beat it to death, beat it until they tell you no, because you bought it, you own it, and you're the professional that has to get that information to them. They may be lackadaisical. They may not want to answer a phone. They may hate texting. They may never look at their email. So your only option may be to go door knock that and go, hey, I'm here. I believe there are great door knockers out there and I will go on record saying this. And I know that, you know, some people don't agree, but some people do agree. 
I believe there are great door knockers out there. And most of our uh, top agents are able to go out there and door knock. Now, are they a rarity in the, in, you know, in the, in the grand scheme of all of us, out of all of us, 16 or 17, they're on the phone right here, you know, and you have women on the line too. You have men, you, it doesn't matter either or, but you may say, I am never going out there and kicking pit bulls and jumping over chain link fences and uh, that kind of stuff. Cause you know, the crowd we get, I mean, it's just middle, it's just the families. Um, so that, if you X that out, then you're down to three options. Then you're down to three. You're into calling, texting, or emailing. And if you get a person that's not going to answer in those three deals and you're not going to go see their house, you're not going to get a hold of them and that's a, not going to be a good lead. I'm just saying. In the same token, you may get people that don't want you coming to their house. And I've had people go, why didn't you call before? Why didn't you call to set the appointment up? You should, I didn't, I'm not ready for you. I'd rather you call. I'm never answering the door to some stranger. And then you get that, but you don't know until you try it. And then you get people like, just text me the information. I, 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 you know, I went on the computer to do it and I want my information by the computer. So I stewed on it and I've stewed on it and I've stewed on it, which means I've thought about it. And uh, to me, uh, you know, just to me, because if I were to be doing this and I am doing this and I have done this and I'm going to continue to do this just to sharpen and so that I can bring you all what I think may be a great approach to these is this is what I would do right here. OK, I would call the person and I would say, um, hey, hello, this is Keelan with Security National Life. I'm trying to get a hold of you with regards to not not necessarily this. But I would insert because this is a this is a generic approach. But I'm trying to get a hold of you with regards to a conversation. Your favorite color is this. I'll be calling you back tomorrow. So what I've done over here uh, is I've taken this is the actual example. Um, and I will, and it, and it is, uh, I will get you a copy of it. I'm going to add it to my website. This is an actual copy of what the owner of the company says to do, uh, if you want to telemarket it, but, um, there's some scripts down here. Okay. So the scripts on the phone says this, Hey, Bill, uh, it's Keelan. They say never to use your last name. Kaylin, I'm getting back to you about your request for the new information. I'm a local field underwriter in your area, so call me back as soon to set up delivery. Thanks, Bill. Again, Keelan, and my number is 512-713-9085. If you want to email the people, hey, Bill, it's Keelan getting back to you about your request for the new information. I'm the local field underwriter. I'll be in your area on Tuesday, so should I drop this off in the morning or afternoon? And again, I want y'all to know, I'm trying to give you just examples of things you might want to say, uh, that you feel comfortable saying. You may want to change it completely. I'm just kind of putting the taste on your tongue uh, about some opportunities here to as to how to, to communicate and how to contact people. Every one of your professionals, you can do it your own way and probably have already thought about doing it your own way. But I'm just giving you some opportunities here. Uh, texting people, hey, Bill. Uh, it's Keelan getting back to you about your request for the new information. I'm a local field underwriter and I'll be in your area on Tuesday. Should I drop this off in the morning or afternoon? So what I like about these three opportunities in either form, either fashion of any type is this. And this is why I also on mine, I did the beat the lead is the call voicemail, call voicemail, text, 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 and then go out there and see them. And the reason I like it is, is that uh, number one, uh, gas prices are absolutely retarded. And that's a bad word. I know I shouldn't use that, but they're ridiculous. That's just a, a word. But um, so if we can uh, maximize our opportunity, uh, save some gas and find some low hanging fruit. And what I mean by low hanging fruit is some opportunities where people are actually looking and we'll actually respond to us and say, yes, we've been thinking about this. Help us out. And that's a low hanging fruit. And you're going to run across some of those. You're going to absolutely run across some of those. We've been talking about it. You know, so let's let's get those because here's the deal. Timing and timing, 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 timing. Remember that word. Timing is everything. And I will say this. If they entered their information in on the computer, don't think that they didn't enter it with some other ads or somebody else. 
And if you get somebody that says, oh, well, somebody's already seen me or called me, that means you were just a little bit too late. And uh, it is timing. And uh, these people are, are, if they're looking, they're looking with multiple carriers or multiple people. You just have to be the one to grab their ear and get there the quickest. Uh, so timing is very important when you get these in your hands as to start that conversation piece. But what I'm saying I like about it is, is that when you're simple and down to earth, and I want you to kind of get this, you have to go into this uh, opportunity knowing that you own the lead. You bought the lead and you've got their information. Okay. You have their information because they did not do, they did something. They entered this in, information in the computer. Do you know if you gathered this information, you call someone and they didn't, they never put it in, that would be against the law. Okay? you know, and so the company is not against the law. They're, they're actually uh, doing this legally. So you have that right to earn that information. Um, so, so, you know, be confident like you own it and say, hey, Tony, I, I've got this information here. I'm just trying to get you the information. I'm the local benefits coordinator or I'm the blah, blah, blah. I'm the person to get this to you. I've got to get this to you. Or my boss says I'm in trouble. You know, I've got to get this information over to you now. And uh, let me know. I got, I mean, I got to get it over to you. Should I just drop it off at your mailbox or uh, I'd love to talk to you though. Explain it. I mean, I don't know what your approach is, but those are things that you have to have, be confident. If you call somebody up and go, um, I'm calling you. Did you, did you want some life insurance or something? Are you looking, are you looking for, a, you weren't looking for a quote, were you? Uh, surely. I mean, like, are you needing, uh, I just seen if you, uh, if you wanted me to give you a quote online today, I mean, sorry, Charlie, that just, that's just different. That's not what we do. We don't take orders. We're not order takers. We're, we're servants and salespeople and we have to get that information over to them. Okay. So that's why the second reason I really like this is, is that if I, so, so, so Joe, you're online here. Can you unmute yourself? Yes. Are you there? Yes. So, so if you, let me ask you this question somehow. If uh, if you go online, have you ever gone online and we're looking for something like to buy? Yes. What what was it? If you may ask or make up something. Uh, it's been I, I don't know what's uh, I can't nothing rings a bell, but yes, I have. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, we. I think we've all tried to look for you know pricing on quoting on something. You know, maybe for something for our house, maybe something for our car, maybe a service that we wanted. Uh, maybe legal, whatever it may be. Uh, maybe uh, for a while, I wanted to reverse osmosis, you know, because I had hard water and I filled some stuff out trying to get some things going there. And I had some people come by. And, uh, but what I, what I didn't like, you know, and this is, again, this goes against my deal and it works, don't get me wrong. What I didn't like just the people who go, oh, I saw your name online. You were looking for reverse osmosis. I'm here at your house to, to give this to you. I didn't like that personally me. But I do know that if the approach is correct, such as, hey, we were in your area and we we're doing some work with other people. The home office said y'all had were interested also in the Culligan. And while I was out here, you know, I thought I might as well just drop off some information. I mean, I, OK, yeah, I get it. Just drop off some information. That's cool. You know, I did put my information in. I did request it. You are out here, uh, not just for me. And people don't know that. I mean, and you're not tricking them. You're just actually trying to get that information to them first. So it does work. Okay. But if I, that guy called me once and left me a message. And uh, if, if Joe, you were looking for reverse osmosis, I called you ring, 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 ring. I said, Hey Joe, this is Keelan. Uh, I saw you put some information inquiring about reverse osmosis. I just wanted to holler at you about it and set up an appointment when I come by and see you. Even if he doesn't answer that, he still gets that voicemail. So there's a chance for him that he'll get, he's going to do that. He may not listen to his voicemail the first time. Second day, ring, 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 ring. Hey, Joe, I called you yesterday, and uh, I didn't get you, but I'm trying to set up an appointment with you to come by and see you and just show you what we have. Please let me know when it's a good time, uh, or you can text me back. No, hold on, I'll be back up. Please let me know when it's a good time. And I'll also, Joe, text you my information. I'm going to text you my business card so you know who I am. Okay. So everybody on the line here today should look up an app if you don't have it over here called Haystack. H-A-Y-S-T-A-C-K. Haystack. This is a virtual business card 
that you can you can develop a virtual business card and this will let you in this point in time text the person your virtual business card you can even take a picture of your own business card <clears throat> you don't have to do that but the virtual business card i don't know if y'all can see this very well but it, mine looks like this come on mine looks like this we can text people uh, maybe okay like that so i can text them i text them my business card and i'll also text them a screenshot of the lead off my computer I've got your information, your name, address. I'll text them this right here. Text them, this is your information. Text them that, you know, and show them, hey, I've got your information. I'm about to come see you. You better, you better answer me or I'm coming to see you. <laughs> so I'll text them that and I'll say, hey, listen, I'm gonna come see you if I, you know, or let me know what we can do. The third day I'll text again and go, hey, Joe, did you get my text? And I'll give him an opportunity to respond there. The fourth time, I'll go back to say, hey, I haven't heard from you. Now, watch me closely. I haven't heard from you. So somehow you might not be getting my phone calls. You might not be getting my voicemails. You might not be getting my texts. Um, so I'm just going to come see you. Because I, it's my job to get you this information. Um, and so if I... If you're not going to respond to me by text or, or voicemail and tell me no, I'm coming to see you and I'll drop it off at your doorstep. The beauty of that is right now, beauty of that right there is, and that approach that I've been, you know, just losing sleep trying to figure out is, is that you, they have heard your voice, number one. You've given them, the, you, you have given them a chance to respond. Number two, you've given them a chance to respond. Okay. Number three, they know why you're coming because you showed them the lead that you're working, that they filled out. I mean, you've got enough information nearly here to start a credit card in their name. Uh, you know, so you, you've got that. And now you're like, well, is something wrong? Are you like, are you dead in the house? Or you, I mean, do I need to come check on you or something? So you go and you knock on their door and say, hey, here's my lead. SNL, look. And now, guess what? They've seen your face because on your business card, it, it says that. Look, I'm right here. Hey, I look a little different and grayer and more wrinkled. But uh, this is me. Now you're at the door and they say, hey, there's that guy that's been bugging us. You know, what does he want? I don't know. You know, I don't care how I get in, you know, if they think I'm bugging them or not. But at least they know I'm not some crazy person. I mean, with a black shirt on with my glasses and my hat backwards going, what's up? You know, at least they know I'm a professional guy that's, it's, that's respectful enough to text them, call them and send them a voicemail. So I like that approach because I'm giving them a chance to tell me no, but I'm still in the end gonna get the information to them. And you know, there's a great chance that, that right here on this one, you're gonna get some responses on, on, on one, you're gonna get some responses on two. You're gonna get some responses on three. You're gonna get some four responses and you're definitely gonna get some responses on five, one way or the other. But I will challenge every single one of you, if you actually can go through these five step process and if you, if you want a door knock first, Joe or whoever, or, or Jonathan Hyman, if you like door knocking first, go get you some. I mean, move five to one, I don't care. Move, move calling second, move call texting third, move texting fourth. The majority of the reason people fail in our business is they don't exhaust the lead or they don't work the lead to the, to the final portion. They do what they feel comfortable doing. They call and go, I don't want to go see them or they really wouldn't want me texting them or emails old fashioned. Um, but if you, do you know in marketing 101, if you have, it takes seven touch points in buying anything before somebody buys it. They think about it seven times. They either see it, they smell it, they taste it. Like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if I want that Chevy. And then seven times is, is, is the average. They've done studies on it. So how can you, how can we, how can I get to these 40 leads efficiently, effectively, professionally, seven times 
And if you go through, I would make a challenge, these five steps right here, and you do every single one of them, um, and you don't get an appointment or don't get to talk to someone, I'll buy you a steak dinner. I don't know, because it's not going to happen. A car, I don't care. Because if you do it, it's not going to happen. They're going to respond to you uh, in some form, fashion, or way. And that's all we have to do. Our job is to somehow figure out how Miss Leander here, uh, Miss 74-year-old, wants to be talked to and wants to be seen. Are we going to screw up a couple of times on some of the approaches? You betcha we're going to. But you got to understand, too, this is a timing deal. And the no now does not mean a no later. And what you're going to be able to do is have these and print these off and start the old school process of putting them into files of working, not working, closed, sold, told me to go to you know where, uh, told me maybe later. And I suggest too, when you start this process, you have a really good calendar, maybe a digital calendar. What I used to do is in an Excel spreadsheet, uh, you know, I would just put their names and the response I had. And then I, if they wanted me to call them back later, I'd put the date in there. You know, when, when should I call you back? Well, in about a month, put that month date in there, put September the 11th on there. Okay. Call them back, put their name in there, put that in my file folder working. Because before long, our goal here, everybody on the line is, you know, 40 leads a week or 40 leads every, every other week. And before you know it, you're going to have 200 and 300 names and addresses and email addresses to work. And hopefully by that time, you'll be, you'll, you've had some sales, you've had some no's, and you can always follow up with these people. And if they say no now, you can go, hey, would it be okay if I can call you later? Would it be okay if I check with you in six months? Be okay if I check with you in 12 months. Do you know anybody that might want some, some, uh, some help, some coverage? Okay, so the conversation pieces. So I just feel like, you know, there's enough information on these leads at small enough price for you to be successful in your own way, in your own avenue, in your own opportunity. You may want to take these addresses and write a letter to them on, on your own letterhead. You may, hey, this is, you know, a Ligia, and then, uh, you know, I've been trying to get a hold of you and and uh, send a, re you know, please call me if you need anything or send a, re send a re you know, po no postage necessary return address. It'll cost you a dollar fifty or two, but send them a personal letter with your business card in it, you know? I've been trying to get a hold of you. I can't get a hold of you. And uh, please, you know, please check this box if you'd like for me to come by and, and put this back in the mail. It's just, you know, you may, you may want to take, guess what? This email, this email right here. I mean, look at this one, Trike Rider 210. <laughs> so Trike Rider 210 is pretty funny. But uh, you may take this and set you up an email database. Now watch this. 40 emails, whether they're good or not, or some of them are right or wrong, who cares? Set up a database. Once a month, do a final expense newsletter or a, or a thought for the day and blind carbon copy every single one of these seniors in your email. I build an email database, blast them, blast them in your email database. I mean, who cares? You got, you know, you, it's a cast net. We're, we're looking for, for doing that and building these systems to where you can be successful working these things systematically, okay? But what I challenge you is to develop your system and stick with it. If it's not working, call me or call a friend or whatever and maybe change a few things. Like call me, we'll work on your, we'll work on role-playing your verbiages, uh, you know, whatever it may be. This other, how to close it, this other is a, Another guide that actually the owner of Consistent Leads uh, is, is developed with his telemarketers. Now, these are telemarketers that aren't going to go to the door, okay, uh, or maybe not at the end. And he says this, day one, three calls, call them three times. I mean, I, I here's me, uh, is that uh, I like to call and leave a voicemail first time. But there are people out there that believe in calling three times and don't leave a voicemail. Just call them until they pick up. And if that's your nature, hey, get after it, okay? Call them three times, text them and email them day one. Call two times, text them and email. Day three, call them, text them and email, okay? And then at the end, it's called a 12 point. And then if they don't answer, go door knock them. But here's some statistics is that 
Six calls equals a 90% chance of a contact. 80% of sales are made. And this comes from him. He's a big leader in the final expense industry too. He, he runs an agency, he runs his own people. 80% of the sales are between the fifth and the 12th call. How many of us really ever get to the fifth call before giving up? Okay, much less the 12th. I mean, it's just things happen. Calling at different times can double your chances. Calling from a different number if you haven't made contact. Okay, just some tips. Calling tips. Assume that the right person answered the phone. If the lead says Betty Smith and the female answers the phone, then say, hello, Betty. Because guess what? She's not going to think that you calling her Betty like your aunt Betty. She's going to think that you, you know, like, is this Betty Smith? Or if you call and say, hello, Betty, she's going to be like, God, does this person know me? Where did I meet this person? You know what? How do they, how do they know me as Betty? You know? So call and uh, say, Betty, um, hello, Betty. However, if a guy answers the phone, say, hello, Mr. Smith. So there's your difference. Mr. Smith. In, in, but if it's a woman, it's, hey, Betty. And that's not a ploy on, on females. Like you couldn't call it Miss Smith, Mrs. Smith. But here's the deal. If you call and a guy answers, you're going to go, hello, Bill. And then if a lady answers, you're going to go, hello, Miss Smith. You know, it depends on what the, it depends on where the lead came from, you know, because the lead's only going to come from one person. It's either going to come from the female or the male. Okay. Right here. So that's why you would do that. That's why you would have to do that because you wouldn't know the, the first name of the second person. Okay. Use your first name only. There's no reason to say the last name or the company it will only create problems. And the prompt of it is, is a, who is your company? They won't remember your information anyways. So this is really cool because how many of us would make this phone call if we didn't know this goes, uh, is this Billy Smith? This is Keelan Johnson with Security National Life out of Salt Lake, Utah. And our number is 866-765-4335. You know, I mean, you're, you're dead. You're dead in the water. You're dead in the water. You got to present yourself like you're close, you're friendly, you know who they are. Don't ask, how are you? Because this is a way for them to interject, insert an objection. And it's not being mad. He's just saying, we never really care how they're doing anyways. <laughs> it's like, I mean, I mean, you do in the end, but at the first point in the first two sentences, you know, because they're going to go, oh, hell, I'm not feeling good. Or, or hell, it's a bad time. Or I'm trying to take my nap. Or, oh, things are just, you know, and then you start there. And you're trying to dig your way back out of a pity party hole, you know, and and trying to get back to the point and the reason you called. And now you're wanting to put yourself in the hole with them because you feel so sorry for them, you know? Uh, so that's okay. We'll get to that, but that's not the purpose of the real original call. Um, don't pause. Pausing creates an awkward silence. By doing this, you're giving them permission to insert an objection. Hey, Joe, how are you? Uh, you're okay? Uh, uh, where was Security National Life? And you're just, uh, you're just opening the door for them to go, what in the world? Because here's the deal. Conversations are like ping pong games. You got the ping pong here and you got, well, I'm backwards here, so it's hard. You got someone hitting a ball over here and your job is not to catch it. Your job is to hit it back and hit it back and hit it back and hit it back. Keep the conversation going. Keep the conversation going because you want to you gather knowledge. You want to gather information. Okay, so keep the keep it going. Do not pause because it uh, and the only correct time to pause and not speak is after you've asked a question. Okay, sell a drop off. Your only objective when you're calling lead is to get in front of them. You shouldn't ask age, date of birth, health questions, give quotes, quotes or gauge interest. This won't be a good gauge of interest level anyway, since they're naturally going to object to whatever you say. Okay. So what you say, the prospect will forget about you only dropping them something off. So even though you may not be a door knocker and uh, you may not want to, you know, you should be, even if you're not a door knocker, if you're in this business, you should always entertain the opportunity. If they say, yes, come see me to get my car and go, because that is, that's really part of our business. You know, uh, you can't really say, well, I just do stuff over the phone. If you're going to just do it over the phone and you're not going to try to set an appointment, this might not be a right lead for you. 
you may just you may want to get you know licensed in ten states and do uh, you know do uh, you know telesales with uh, you know with our digital lead. You know you can do that right now underneath our agent portal. You can go into live transfers, and that's all you do is you sit on the phone, you wait for people to come. We've got these live transfers right here, and they're forty something dollars a piece. You've got a two minute buffer. You need to be appointed in about five states, but you can sit there and and uh, receive calls and uh you know and, and try to make the sale um i will challenge you that that's it's a it's a pretty tough sale and the persistency is really tough because people are just looking for the cheapest and they're sick and they're looking for a patch like an immediate patch for something so it's it's tar it's tough getting medications and stuff uh it does work for some people but it's um it's an expensive and tough one to do um, so that's why very few of our, our agents go down that road, uh, just saying. Um, so <clears throat> the other script here is um, when you're when you're talking to someone at the door, and you can use this too. I'm going to put this on my training website when I get off the line here. Hello, Bill. Hey, this is Keelan. I'm getting back to you about the request for the final expense information. I'm the local field underwriter and I'll be out in your area. Should I drop this off information off in the morning or afternoon? Is such and such time better? Are you still at 401? Now, Bill, so I need, I need some information, help from you. What is your house? Color? Describe your house for me. What color is it? Is it a house, a trailer, apartment? Any other special details so I can spot? Do I need any special directions? Will I be able to find it? Hey, do me a favor. Grab a pen and paper real quick. I'm putting you on my calendar now. So go ahead and write my name and Tuesday at three. Thank you for being so nice for your time. I'll see you Tuesday at three. Have a good day. Goodbye. Okay. So just some food for thought there. And I want you to really think about this. And, and uh, uh, as you move into, you know, the, the, the lead time and the, in ordering leads um, and going and seeing people, um, you can go again for this opportunity. You go right in here to digital leads, uh, 40 at a time. Uh, they're $11 with lead credit. They're 550. So all you would do is you really need to have a population of 150. So what you would do here, click your state you're in, uh, you know, I'm going to just show you Texas and then you hit add state, add your County you want. So if I want to do Travis County, I would add the County right there start date that you want this to go now and then you go to 40 right here okay and you hit your 40 and you add to your cart once you add it to your cart you're going to go into your cart and uh it should update here uh and you're going to go in here and you're going to check out right here you're going to add your address it's a pretty simple process and then you're going to hit continue and then you're going to see how you pay for it you won't see this you won't see this button on the loan right here that's just a career agent type deal, but you'll see this one and you can put 220 in there, $220 in there if you have lead credit and then you'll owe, you'll, you'll owe $220 there and then you can put your information in there. Okay. So that's how you would, that's how you would order these leads. They will come right in here and uh, in a, you know, depending on the territory, we've had them come in as quick as that same day or uh, that afternoon, depending on if you're a very populated area because there's more people hitting that that those Google sites, um, or you may it may be a couple of days in there, okay. But remember, you're gonna get some bad leads. <laughs> you're gonna get some bad phone numbers. You're gonna get some people that tell you, kiss their rear. I mean, uh, it's just the nature. It's just the nature of it. Um, but the more confident you are, the more you take a servant approach. Um, the more you beat the lead, the more you use all of your, your capabilities to do this. Another thing too, this, this uh, app, Route For Me, you see it in the blue box. It's on, uh, it's on iPhones. I believe it's on Androids too, Route For Me. Very crucial because when you go through these leads and you take 40, you're going to narrow it down. You're going to call, or you know, if you're going out to see them, put all 40 in there. It will optimize your route from where you leave at the home. It will drop you off at each point. 
and you can go in or knock the door. It gives you an opportunity to say notes in there. It gives you an opportunity to say, I visited this or I didn't visit this and go to the next one and next one and next one. That way you save gas and you optimize your route. It even gives you an option in there to say not home. That way it leaves it in your route and you can come back to it. So play with it a little bit. Practice, you know, on that route for me. Put five or ten of them in there. You know, maybe I tell you a good, good way to do it. If you like garage sales, practice on that. So Saturday morning, wake up and put five or six locations of garage sales in there and hit each garage sale. It's a pretty cool deal, too, because you can hit a bunch of garage sales. And and so we like taking $20, $25 to see if we can spread them around the garage sales. So anyways, um, so so use route for me. Uh, use the uh, uh, the tools. Use the, uh, the haystack. Sorry, a little bit uh, tied, tied down there. So tongue tied. But I'm excited now that we can use, can use your lead credit. You know, as you move forward, as you make a couple of sales and you get another $200 in your lead credit, you're like, man, this is good. Another $200, I got 40 more leads, you know, and sell another one and you've got 80 leads and now you got 120 leads. And now, you know, you have a business. Now you have a business and your business is now, man, I've got these names and numbers and of people. How am I going to continuously tip, tip, tip these people? I've got their email addresses. I can go back and see them. I've got their mailing addresses. And, uh, you know, these are people that are of this age. Um, I even, you know, take a picture of that and text them. This is Keelan Johnson, you know, your benefits coordinator here. I got your information, trying to get a hold of you. When is a good time to come see you? At that point in time, when that person sees that text or hears your voice, you have to make that potential per client accountable for putting that information in the computer. And, you know, it's like, Hey, I, I can't lay my head on my pillow unless I get this information over to you. Cause if you wanted some information and I dropped the ball, shame on me, shame on me. Cause I dropped the ball. Okay. So you ordered a cake and I never delivered it. You put your pizza order in. I never got over here. You door dash. I said, I don't want to do that door dash today. Okay. You ordered something, you put your information in there, and now I want to get it to you. Does that mean that every time you see somebody, it's going to work that way? No, you're going to get some get out of my hair, get out of my face. I'm calling the law or whatever. Just giggle at them and tell them, you know, I'm sorry, but I was just trying to protect your family. Just trying to help you out. And that's my job. That's what I get paid for, dude. Okay. So I'm excited and passionate about this. You know, again, uh, I work for Security National Life, and we we are getting these leads from a, another vendor that's providing this for us, and that's the way we work. We are doing our best to get these to you. We are doing our best to provide you the best opportunity financially, monetarily, to make sales, and that's my job is to figure out what I think is a good opportunity. And, you know, if worked right, I believe, and because I've done it myself, these we're getting responses. Um, there is also... You know, within um, these these videos, there's other agents. There's another agent that used to work for us. Uh, now he started his own company, which he didn't mean he didn't like us. He just started, he wanted his own IMO and he works these exclusively. He and big guys go out all the time. Now they're spending a lot of time in the, in the field. Um, so they are increasing their odds a lot. But if you're not a field person and you feel like you can make these, make these uh, appointments and set these appointments, go for it, okay? I'm excited. Thank you for being on the team. Thank you for being here today. I hope you gathered a little bit, a couple of tidbits and confidence. We care about you. I want you to be successful. Let me know if you need anything at all. I'm here for you. So as I always say in Texas, happy Thursday and adios.